Humanity has always longed to send messages into the unknown hoping someone, somewhere, might hear us. We once tossed bottles into the sea. In the 20th century we launched spacecraft into the cosmos. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 became our cosmic bottles, filled not with paper but with the sights and sounds of Earth. These machines carried our story, etched onto a golden record, across an ocean of stars. We launched them not knowing if anyone would ever find them, but with hope that our existence might be known. The Voyager missions were born from the same curiosity that drove our ancestors to look up and wonder, are we alone? These spacecraft became our eyes and ears, venturing where we could only dream. They carried the hopes of an entire species, daring to reach beyond our small blue world. Two tiny emissaries hurled into the void, destined to become the fastest objects ever made by humans. Their journey would take them past giant worlds, and then beyond the sun's influence. They became our silent ambassadors to the galaxy. The golden record they carried told a story of life, love, art, and science, a testament to a world that reached for the stars. This was our message in a cosmic bottle, we were here. It was a declaration, a whisper into the vast darkness. The act itself was a leap of faith, a gesture of connection across unimaginable distances. Voyager's journey is a story of loneliness, hope, and the human desire to not be alone in the universe. We launch them, not with certainty, but with the belief that reaching out matters. And so, our story began its journey into the unknown. Voyager's story began with a rare cosmic alignment, a planetary lineup that happens only once every 176 years. In the late 1970s, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune formed a perfect arc, opening a fleeting window for exploration. A spacecraft could use each planet's gravity to slingshot to the next, a grand tour made possible by the universe itself. In 1977, we seized the moment. Voyager 2 launched first, followed by Voyager 1 on a faster path. The numbering was intentional. Voyager 1 would reach Jupiter and Saturn first, while Voyager 2's route preserved the chance to visit Uranus and Neptune. These were not just machines, they were time travelers built with 1970s technology. Less power than a car key fob, less memory than a digital watch. Yet, they were tasked with humanity's most ambitious journey. Built to survive radiation, cold, and time, they were engineered to last. The plan was bold use gravity assists to bend their paths and boost their speed saving years of travel and fuel. Each planetary encounter flung them deeper into the solar system. The universe gave us a gravitational nudge making the grand tour possible within a human lifetime. The voyagers would fly by Jupiter, then Saturn, and if all went well, Uranus and Neptune. We sent two explorers hedging our bets, determined to succeed. Their mission was audacious, their technology humble, their purpose grand. The world watched as they left Earth, ready to reveal the wonders of the outer planets. This was our chance to see the unknown, to explore worlds we'd only glimpse through telescopes. The voyagers set out, propelled by opportunity and human ingenuity. The journey of a lifetime had begun. The voyagers' first stop was Jupiter, and what they found changed everything. Jupiter's great red spot was revealed as a massive, centuries-old storm, surrounded by violent churning clouds and lightning. But the real surprises orbited the planet Io, a volcanic world spewing plumes into space, Europa, an icy moon hiding a possible ocean beneath its cracked surface. Next came Saturn, with its rings, once thought simple, now seen as thousands of shimmering ringlets, braided and mysterious. Saturn's moon Titan was shrouded in haze, with a dense atmosphere and methane rain. After Saturn, Voyager 1's planetary tour ended, veering toward interstellar space. Voyager 2 pressed on, reaching Uranus in 1986, a pale, tilted world with new moons and rings. In 1989, Voyager 2 became the first and only visitor to Neptune, discovering supersonic winds and a great dark spot. Each encounter rewrote the textbooks revealing worlds more dynamic and complex than we'd ever imagined. The Voyagers showed us volcanic moons, hidden oceans and planetary rings that defied expectations. They transformed distant points of light into vibrant living worlds. The Grand Tour was a revelation, expanding our understanding of the solar system. These discoveries fueled our imagination and deepened our curiosity. The Voyagers' cameras captured wonders we never dreamed existed. Their journey through the outer planets was a triumph of exploration, and with each new world our sense of possibility grew. With the Grand Tour complete, the Voyagers pressed onward, beyond the planets, into the unknown their new mission to become the first interstellar pioneers. To do so, they had to cross the heliosphere, the sun's protective bubble, 
and enter true interstellar space. For years they sailed through the outer layers past the termination shock and into the turbulent helio sheath. Then in 2012, Voyager 1 detected a sudden change, solar particles vanished, cosmic rays surged. It had crossed the heliopause, leaving the solar system, entering the space between stars. For the first time, a human-made object had reached interstellar space. In 2018, Voyager 2 followed, confirming and expanding our understanding of this mysterious boundary. Now, both spacecraft drift through the interstellar medium, sampling the dust, particles and magnetic fields of the galaxy itself. They send back data from a place no human has ever been. The Voyagers have become our first galactic scouts, silent ambassadors to the cosmos. Their journey is a quiet triumph, unfolding in the darkness far from home. They remind us that exploration never truly ends. Even in the void they continue to teach us about the universe. The Voyagers were built to last five years yet. Decades later, they're still alive. Billions of kilometers from home. Their endurance is a testament to the engineers who designed them and the team that keeps them running. Power is their greatest challenge their nuclear batteries fade, forcing tough choices about which instruments to keep alive. Communication is a whisper across the void signals weaker than a billionth of a billionth of a watt. The team has become cosmic mechanics, performing remote surgery on ancient hardware. They've patched memory glitches, rerouted power and kept the science flowing. Every watt is precious, every command is critical. The mission is a daily act of ingenuity and dedication. These caretakers are guardians of humanity's farthest reach. Their quiet heroism keeps our message in a bottle alive. As long as the Voyagers endure, so does our story. Each Voyager carries a golden record, a time capsule for the cosmos. Crafted by a team led by Carl Sagan, it's a message from Earth to any who might find it. The odds of discovery are tiny, but the act of creating it was profound. The record holds 116 images, DNA, human life, art, technology, a snapshot of Earth in 1977. It contains the sounds of our planet, wind, rain, waves, animals, and the voices of humanity. There's music from Bach to Chuck Berry, Navajo chants to Peruvian wedding songs, a symphony of our world. Greetings in 55 languages from ancient Akkadian to modern Chinese offer a simple hope. Hello from the children of planet Earth. The golden record is a gesture of peace, a symbol of our desire to connect. Even if never found, it sails on. A testament to a species that dared to dream. It's a gift to the cosmos and to ourselves. The record is our way of saying we existed, we created, we reached out. It's a silent ambassador carrying our story into eternity. The golden record is humanity's symphony for the stars. In 1990, as Voyager 1 prepared to leave the solar system, Carl Sagan requested one last photograph of Earth. The result, the pale blue dot, a single pixel suspended in a sunbeam, fragile and alone in the vastness. This image is a cosmic perspective, a reminder of our smallness and unity. Every human who ever lived, every joy and sorrow, played out on that tiny dot. Sagan wrote that this view underscores our responsibility to cherish and protect our only home. From that distance our divisions vanish, our self-importance fades. The pale blue dot is more than a picture, it's a call for humility and compassion. It challenges us to see beyond borders and to recognize our shared fate. Voyager's greatest gift may be this humbling portrait of our world. It reminds us that we are all in this together adrift on a small stage in a vast cosmic arena. The image is a lesson in perspective, a spiritual experience. It asks us to care for the only home we've ever known. The Voyager mission continues, sending back data from the edge of interstellar space. These aging explorers are our only eyes and ears beyond the solar system. Every day they teach us about the universe, answering questions we never thought to ask. Their journey is a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. The engineers who keep them alive work miracles with ancient technology. The Voyagers are symbols of endurance, curiosity and hope. Their legacy is more than science. It's a story of what it means to be human. The same spirit that led our ancestors across the globe sent these probes to the stars. The Voyagers will wander the galaxy for billions of years carrying our message. They are silent ambassadors, monuments to our desire to connect and explore. They remind us that even in a vast, lonely universe, we reach out. The Voyager mission is the ultimate expression of our exploratory spirit. We are a species that looks up, wonders and dares to dream.